this nb before i get started with today's project i want to thank you all for your support uh, last week i hit 1k subscribers which is a huge thing so i thank you again and i hope to have your continuing support now moving on to today's video it's time for a string safari a string safari is a project where we create a zentangle using a given string and this is our string safari number 19 you can check out all our previous projects in the playlist I'm Sandhya Manne an artist and a certified zentangle teacher. I've been practicing and teaching zentangle for over a decade now. So welcome to yet another zentangle mini project. In this channel we talk about creating and practicing zentangle, my own zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe the channel so you do not miss out on any videos that we uh, share every Tuesdays and Fridays. Now for today's project I will be working on my white square tile with my black pen pencil and stub. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. So here we are with our supplies um my white square tile um and this is my uh pencil stub 01 micron black and a 08 micron black. So let's get started. um uh this is our string safari number 19 so for today's session we are not going to start with the border we'll get started directly with the string uh and i want you to make your lines really gentle so here's how the string goes so we're just going to make three uh, lines um trying to section our space so we're going to start from this corner this goes like this and the next one kind of goes like this and the next one kind of goes like this okay so let's get started so very gentle lines um in fact we might not need these lines so don't worry if it goes a little haywire so something like this okay let me just pick it up and show you so this is how we're going to divide our space and please be very gentle with your lines we do not want very dark lines So one that goes like so this we have one line that goes up like this and the other the second line is closer to this but then wider on the other side and then the third line is closer to this and wider on this side so that is what we are trying to do here so let's get started with our tangle our first tangle is called doozily so it's a funny name but it looks really interesting so doozily goes like this So we start with. So I'm going to make usually in this space. Okay. So I'm going to start with a circle. So make a circle, and we're going to eat, we're going to make a string of circles uh, along this space. So leave some space, add another circle, and so I'm kind of going to go along this line. Okay. Uh, not too far away from from this line. So make sure you have it evenly spaced out. Um and it goes like this and like that, right? So that is my step 1. So I start with circles. Now I'm going to join these circles like this. So I start from the I go around the circle. I go to the bottom of this and then i pull the line out and i wrap it around the circle okay so i start again i go around this circle some from somewhere at the bottom i start pulling the line out and then i wrap it around the next circle so let's repeat this again go down and come up and land on the top of the other circle so let's repeat this again okay that went too far down we don't need it to go too far down uh that's okay okay so now that i have all my circles connected now i'm going to pretend this line is coming like this here so our next step is to Kind of go out like this and end it here like that. Okay, so let's repeat this. So we're going to go 
out like this and end it at the top of it so again let's go out like this and end it up like that so I'm going to pretend like this a section coming like that as well so now that I have my um, circles connected and I've made this double line as well so it's important we have the space here because we will be adding something more in the space here so our next step is to kind of make all our lines not very uh, far or not very wide but just like that so two lines on the top so this goes like this okay this went too close that's okay and I'm going to finish it up like this like that so our next step is I'm going to add some fun elements so I'm going to add teeny tiny flux kind of shapes like that Okay, so we're going to do this at each of these uh, corners. So about two or three, depending upon how much space you have. Um, three looks more interesting. Like that. Now I'm going to repeat this on the other side as well. So here I'm going to kind of face it this way. Okay, so like that just keep adding like this so we have this lovely border now there's more to this so we're going to add um, lines so this is that big section that we had we're going to add lines that are spaced out and notice how i am curving my line so it's not straight line it's slightly curved so i'm going to go ahead and repeat this in each of these uh, sections so st start here and keep going out like that and make sure you keep your lines curved for an interesting finish So I'm done with this. 
So our next step is to add black uh, alternatingly in this in these sections. So here's what I mean. We are going to start sorry, somewhere here. So you fill this section black, and then and then you leave the next section, and then move on to the third section. Okay, so. like that so alternate between black and white so like this do you see how interesting this looks now so I want to start um, doing this uh, in each of these sections so just keep alternating between black and white So now it's time to move on to our next step. So this is our tangle doosley. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing here in this uh, space. Okay. So let's get started and uh, we'll start with the circle. So I'm going to start this way so I kind of get an idea. So I'm going to start uh, somewhere here and it goes like this I'm going to go along this pencil line so I start with my first circle and then space out your circles evenly So now we are done with Doosley and uh, let's start with our next tangle. It's called Kensington. But before we start with the next tangle, uh, I want you to take a minute and give an aura line uh, on this side. And we're going to make our next tangle in this section here. So let's go ahead making a line that kind of follows along this previous uh, shape but it doesn't touch anything it's just going along with along that shape so like that now our next tangle Kensington Kensington is a lovely tangle it's a very simple tangle so okay let me start somewhere here in the center so it starts with a spiral like that and then we start adding petals to this 
about three or four petals depending upon how much space you have and we're going to add another layer of petal that's kind of starting along that same uh, point so I have this like this okay so now let's make plenty of these so we're going to fill this entire section that's here with Kensington okay so I'm going to go ahead add another line this doesn't this look pretty so go ahead and keep adding your petals spirals and petals spirals and petals Okay, so notice how I'm going behind. That's already there. So I'm going ahead and filling all all over. Um, so I'm just making sure that I go behind uh, a flower or the border that we created. So when I have something, I'm just going behind that. Okay, so like that. Okay, so I have this little section here so I'm going to um, add black uh, in these gaps that I have so go ahead and add black like this now um, spaces 
that are more like that like here I'm gonna add some tipple so when in doubt add a tipple if you're not sure what to do go, go ahead and add a tipple so that's what I'm doing here uh, adding some tipple and then going back and filling up all these gaps that I have because uh, that was too much of a space to fill in with black and tipple makes it interesting so just add few tipples if you wish to or you can always fill it up with solid black that's that's absolutely fine so <clears throat> now take a quick check go around and either if the space is too much you can add few circles along with the black or you can just go ahead and add plain black um, it's totally up to us so go ahead and do that okay so i'm going to repeat the same thing on this side of our space um so we're going to add kensic done so we start with our spiral so here i am all done um making these flowers on either side of the border that we created um now this space i'm going to leave it empty i like that uh, there is um you know this section of white showing through where when we have um all these uh, sides completely busy um so but it's optional you can add uh, lines if you want or you can add some circles or you can make it as interesting as you want uh, but i'm going to leave it as is so now let's head on uh, to shading so shading for doozly is going to be fun we're just going to go ahead add our pencil right at the edge of this and at the edge of this so we'll make sure the center part is white okay so let's go ahead and do that So add your pencil right at the edge. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this very gently. Uh, I'm going to make sure my center is white. So I'm not going to go over the center just at the edges. So pencil right at the edge. like that that so very gently blend out your pencil So I'm going to repeat this on the other side as well. Here I have uh, shaded uh, on both sides. So uh, the next thing that we are going to do is add our pencil along this aura line. So just go along this aura line with the pencil. Okay, because it's black I'm not really adding much but this is how it's going to go I'm gonna do this on the other side as well so 
so wherever there is white i'm adding my pencil and wherever there's black i'm just letting it go because it's not going to show up anyways like that so now i'm going to use my stub and gently blend it out so i'm blending it out onto the flowers here So I love the way that looks. So I'm going to repeat this on the other side as well. So now I am also going to go ahead and add my pencil right in the center of the spiral for these flowers okay. and let's do this on the other side as well. gonna gently blend this out so we are done with the tile however I just want to make a few enhancements I'm just gonna make these little dots So there you go so that's my tile okay now let's put our initials and call it done so I'm gonna write my name here there, super okay so, so now let's date our work so today's date is 1st September 2020 and this is YouTube string safari number 19 and we worked with tangles Tuesday and Kensington there you go so if you haven't already signed up for my newsletter then please do sign up on uh, the link that's given below which is sundaymonday.com slash tangle organizer for class updates and other fun um, also uh, do check out my upcoming workshops for september i have a beginners workshop group class and also a advanced session um, and if you want to uh, book your private sessions then do please do contact me for your classes hope you had fun on the safari with me i would love to see your creations so head on to our fb group zenbees where all the after party fun happens share your works there and check out the creations by other zenbees if you're sharing your works on social media then please do tag me at sandhya Mane or hashtag tangled with sandhya so i get to see your works there on Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. India time, I host a Zentangle mini project on my Instagram uh, live. So join me on my Instagram uh, handle at Sandhya Mane and let's tangle together. So if you want to deep dive uh, into Zentangle and learn Zentangle the right way, then uh, uh, you can contact me. Uh, slots for private session for this month of September is now open. So um, shoot me an email and let's schedule your session. Now it's time to comment. So please comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project. Also, um, it's time to show some love. So please hit that like button, share button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next on Friday in our Focus Flight series video. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.